Hey folks, this is Alex over at ABR Houston. So I see this on a daily basis of bad wiring, bad splices, those guys who, uh, well, don't know or shouldn't be touching their cars or your car even. And uh, I wanted to do a quick, uh, quick little video on how to properly butt splice a wire. Now I'm gonna use BMW factory wiring uh, and I'm gonna use factory butt splices. BMW uses these for airbag connections, so you know what? If it's good enough for an airbag, it's good enough for you. So, uh, we need a couple tools. First off, we need a tool like this. It's a stripper. Uh, what this will do is you can take the wire and you put it in the top, and when you pull it, it pulls the wire off. And by stripping it down, that's about all you need for the tool that we're going to use. Secondly, these are the butt splices that BMW uses. They're fantastic. They come in three different sizes. I can get you the part numbers if you want them. They're about a dollar each. Uh, they're worth their weight in gold because they will hold the wire on one crimp and the insulation on another. So we have to use special tools to crimp these as well. And that's what these are. Now, I bought these from Mac. It's a uh, uh, let's see, it looks like a TCT1028. And you see when you open and close them, they're double pivoted. So when you open and close these and you crimp it, they're being squished directly flat rather than a pair of pliers. And you get a, a, a hard crimp on one side and a soft crimp on another. Mac doesn't make these. These are just branded by them. Uh, I've bought a couple pairs of these. I've used them for 10, 20 years. I mean, they're, they're just, they're fantastic. You can buy them for about 30 bucks. So the way this all works is they have individual sizes and uh, they have two different types of pliers as well. But what you're going to do is you're going to crimp with these little rolls. You see those little rolls that are on there? And what will happen is, is take a wire and stick it on there. You put the crimp in. You give it a squeeze. And what that will do is roll the wire, I'm sorry, roll the connector into the wire. And that's like an awesome crimp. So then you do it a second time on the insulation, but you don't have to do it with this, as uh, tight of a crimp. And now you have a crimp that holds the wire and a crimp that holds the insulation. And it's almost the thickness of the wire, so you can do a bunch of them next to each other. It doesn't turn into that big ball of yuck. And secondly, I'm going to use, these are actual BMW heat shrinks. I know, go crazy. They're heat shrinks that you buy from the dealership. It is in, adhesive lined. Uh, anytime you use a heat shrink, always try to get adhesive lined uh, uh, stuff. So when you put it on here and you heat it up, there's a glue that actually starts to go in there. And uh, it will seal it and make it watertight as well. So that's one. This is the other side. So same process. We're going to strip it, put our heat shriek on because don't forget to do that Then you'll have to do it over again. And you see how the wire is just sitting on that first crimp and the insulation's on the second. So I'll install it in our crimpers. Sometimes this is tricky to get them all to line up. Every once in a while you got to put the wire in there and then cover it, and then you crimp it. See, nice and pretty. And then we'll crimp the insulation. And now we got a nice, pretty butt splice. So our heat shrink is gonna go over the face of that. And I got a little heat gun. And we're just gonna gently let it warm up and try not to melt the insulation on the wires. Now you don't have to use this insulation, I'm sorry, this heat shrink. Uh, Fry's, lots of electronics com uh, companies sell heat shrink. But I like this stuff because it's translucent. You can actually see the connector through it and uh, you, can, you can confirm that it's a good crimp still. Um, 
really the, the big thing is to just use adhesive lined insulation. That way it waterproofs it. And there we go. So perfectly done butt splice. So let's kind of do this in real time this time. So once you do these, I don't know, a couple billion times like I have, this is uh, this is old hat, so to speak. So once you get good at them, you can really, well, just get her done. And these are they, these just destroy. I mean, destroy the ones you get at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or uh, wherever those the yellow or blue or red ones you see. Those are junk. I mean, they, they don't hold nearly the type of strength that these things do. Don't forget your heat shrink. Stick it in there. And this is how we do butt, butt connections anytime here at ABR Houston because, well, we want the best for our cars, so obviously we're going to do the best for your cars as well. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment or give us a call or ask us. But um, these are just the most awesome way of, of putting a wire together without any damage. So, hope you guys learned something. And if you need any of these part numbers, just let me know. And uh, Or you can, heck, you can just buy them from us if you wanted to. All right, cool. And that's it. Thanks for watching.